Roman legions have been ambushed in a German forest. Oh, this sounds very familiar. Welcome to Rome 2 Total War as we have a glorious Teutonburg Forest battle for you today. Yes, we have a 3v3 here in sort of a Teutonburg Forest style scenario. We have three Roman armies taking on three Swaby armies. And this should be an awesome one. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's nice to be back in Rome 2. And what better way than to do one of Rome's most iconic battles. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't have called this a, a historical scenario. It's a bit more of a custom one. As there's a, a few different eras when it comes to uh, the legions here. We have some Hastati for the Republican era. We have like, if I actually like legionary cohorts. And then we have like, um, well, I think there's just a mix of Imperial and uh, Republican here. Which does make it a little bit interesting, but yeah, as you can see here, we do have the Starty battling off against some uh, some Bloodsworn here, so they are taking on those the guys. But yes, as you can see here, the Roman legions are very much ready to go. There's, they're not full armies, they're quite small armies, um, but they are pretty damn good. As we have some uh, auxiliary cavalry here causing all sorts of problems. Actually managing to route some uh, longbow hunters on that cliff. Very, very nicely done by those auxiliary cav. But yeah, the Romans have to go down this road. You might have seen the Teutoburg Forest map. You can find it. Um, it's easy to find, I think, on Imperator and Gustus. It's actually like a Teutoburg, like um, spot for it. But yeah, you can see we're going down this road. This is where Rome has got to go. And then they've got to end up all the way over here, which is, I guess, why these Vigiles are here. They're kind of like to represent like where the Romans have got to get to to get to safety, which is very cool. It's a good way to represent it, I guess. These are, I guess, like the sentries waiting at like a, a Roman camp or something nearby. Yes, yeah, so the Romans have a long way to go, and there'll be plenty of Germans on the way, I'm sure, to try and stop them. Uh, and the Romans, as you can see here, are already being stopped in their tracks by Club Levy. Uh, they've lost like 30 men in this first sort of wave. It's pretty brutal, actually. Um, so, yeah, I imagine there's a lot of cheap stuff that the Germans have got, or some armies might have, and then uh, I'm sure as the battle progresses down that road, we're going to see more and more expensive stuff committed in for the Germans or the Swaby. It just remind me of that uh I forgot what the Netflix series was called. I think it was like called like a gym uh, I forgot what it was called. It was like called Arminius or was it I can't remember. But uh yeah obviously that's like space around the ambush that is uh Tudorburg Forest, which in 9, 9 AD three Roman legions were lost uh, and were never found again. And uh, they still like find their bones to stay. Um, it's like 15,000 men dead. Uh, they did recover the eagles, though. I did actually do a battle on, um, on like a, on a historical battle called uh, Ida Visto, uh, which is like a sort of a revenge act for the Romans. Uh, they managed to, uh, to reclaim the eagles and beat Arminius in a, in a follow-up follow battle. Um, Germanicus managed to do that. Romans just ignored this Bloodsworn unit. It's still alive. Still doing stuff. But yes, this was sent in by a, uh, a fellow uh, curator, Magi uh, of Fyam. Uh, he sent this in into my Discord, and he was saying that I should definitely try and cover it. So thank you very much for sending this one in. It was done with a few of the creators as well. I'll try and make sure I link all their uh, channels in the description. So you guys can go and check out their content, because they're all fellow Total War uh, creators that were taking part in this one. Uh, so yeah, definitely make sure to do that. And yeah, I'm interested to see how this one goes down. Uh, that is for sure. Um, it will certainly be an interesting one. Rome seems like he's, they're, they're taking a fair few casualties already. These first few units have already lost like 50 or so men. Uh, the Stadi are losing a lot more because they're like weaker troops. Uh, the main thing is Javis, it seems. I think like these, uh, these like all these German units, well, every unit in Rome too can throw Javis, which is a bit of a problem I have, a pet peeve I have with this game. Only problem, everyone can throw Javis, not just the Romans or like Peltasts. Um, so yeah, so uh, the Javis are probably what are doing most of the damage, really. Not actually the, the like club levy going into melee, because yeah, they have like 20 melee attack. I'll leave the hood up because I know you guys like to see like the um, the stats and who's got kills. Like this legendary cohort still had 100 kills. That one is 124. They're doing well. You can see here the uh, the Romans routing another German very easily. Very very nicely done. Back, back, withdraw. That's uh, that's what the Germans are saying right now. Run away! Sounds a bit French if I say so myself. 
Stadio managed to somehow get around this uh, club leather unit here, surround it almost, hit it, hit it down, force it from retreating. Should uh, be able to defeat them pretty easily now, I imagine. Romans uh, are actually still engaging. I'm surprised the Germans aren't sending in more and more. Maybe these are just re uh, like re rally troops. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a little very, very bitty from the uh, from the Germans. Like, what they're sending in. I might just call the Swaby the Germans. I do apologize because really it wasn't just the like one tribe. There was multiple tribes that took part anyway. So got to represent, you know. Got to represent all these guys. But yeah, there you go. The club levy getting charged down. Poor guys. Have fighting, uh, fighting these guys off. Quibbler, yep, yeah, about to go. There you go. They are gone. These guys still fighting in the front lines as well. And the Legion cohort here. I mean, they basically look like what the Romans would have uh, looked like in 9 AD. This is the typical sort of Imperial Legion look. And what badasses they are, that is for sure. Roman cavalry actually is carrying on. These auxiliary cav have got over 200 kills already and still like at half strength. They're having a good time against this very lightly armored uh, infantry. Auxiliary cav there. Gonna make sure these guys run, are run down. Gonna get a few easy kills. And then I guess rear charge. Uh, they might have not even needed to do that. The Romans look like they've managed to surround the Swaby down here. But let me know in the comments, who do you think is gonna win? Do you think it's gonna be Rome or the Swaby? Are the uh, Romans going to change history or are the Swaby going to massacre the Romans once again? I'd be interested to see what you think and who you're rooting for. Um, I don't know. I'm always a, a fan of Rome. I kind of want Rome to break through myself, but see what you guys uh, are what, like want to see. Maybe you want to see all the Romans dead. I don't know. You're, certainly, if you're from Germany, you might be rooting for your home team. But yeah, the Romans look like they've, they've beaten off this first wave, this first sort of... Um, Resistance. Uh, I guess they're now going to progress through here and see what else is uh, in the, these forests lurking. I imagine there might be some uh, some units up on this huge cliff up here, which yeah, is not hard to, to miss. But yeah, well, uh, as you can see, this is we'll go from the strategic view. This is the the ro route they've got to take. Pretty easy to sit. Pretty uh, straightforward. The the road is not straight. It's not a Roman road, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, the two units vigilates waiting over there patiently. I'm surprised they're not being murdered in the forest by uh, the, some Germans. But we'll just fast forward. Oh, or maybe not. But more Germans have appeared. Bloodsworn, awaiting some orders. They might wait till the Romans have uh, fully committed and then attack them in the rear, I wonder, because they don't know that they're going to be easy able to get across. Actually, this river is traversable. And I've only worked that out because of these routing troops running through it. So they might attack from the flanks. There's more uh, Germans over here. There's some more Blood Swarm. Blood Swarm actually are a pretty good unit. They have 38 melee attack. It's not actually too bad. Um, 49 melee defense. And morale fairly good as well. 55. They'll like they'll do they'll do a job. Like that's that's a similar sort of like ma uh, morale to Legion Co. That is actually the same morale. That's actually incredible. It's a much cheaper unit as well. There you go, Jab is coming in again. That's a pretty good flanking shot. No, I didn't see many Romans fall. And there you go, Romans into the side. Oh, sorry, Germans into the side of the Romans. I was thinking they haven't actually brought any of those fiery balls of justice yet. And they've not tried to burn these, uh, these German units down. It's kind of a shame to see. That would be quite, quite fun. Stardy at over 200 kills as well. I mean, there's going to be some units with huge kills. It's obvious. There you go, the Hastadi. Still battling in here. Don't know what these guys are doing here. They would definitely not be around at 980. But I guess they decided to bring some weaker Roman units or something. Because the Hastadi fitted the build. Yeah, no sort of like sword masters or berserkers yet have been spotted. Oh, some cav though has been spotted. Riders of the Hunt. It's a very light cav unit. Uh, they might be able to do something, but they're disappearing just as quickly as they appeared. There you go, light cav coming in. Uh, they are going to do some damage. Again, something, I guess, or try to. Maybe try and go for a general. 
but he's uh, he's winning. Oh, there's uh, there's another cab fight over here. I didn't even realize. Yeah, more riders of the hunter here. Um, I don't think they'll be able to beat the Legatus. The Legatus isn't a good cab unit, but it's better than these uh, light swaby cab that they've got. This, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a massacre. There you go. Already losing slightly. They are gonna take that auxiliary cab with them. It looks like the uh, the swimming player over here is going to dash off, try and get this cavalry, maybe round, try and pin down this general. He is getting pretty low. 28 out of 40. He's getting half strength. There is another general coming up. Another 40 out of 40 Legatus. And more auxiliary cab. I, I guess this is to represent like, like Arminius's auxiliary cab, but they, they just switch sides, so they definitely should not be here. If anything, they should give like veteran riders to represent like the auxiliary cab. There you go. Yeah, more riders of the hunt going in. They, the Romans again seem to push those guys aside fairly easily. The Sardia got some fairly decent kills. I mean, let's look at the bodies. I'd say it's fairly 50 50 down there on losses. Again, wasn't too much. It's just a bit of cav this time coming in. I'm interested to see where the next point of defense will be. I would think it would be here. This is a nice natural choke point, but we'll see. By your command. There is a uh, infantry unit being spotted over here by the Vigilates, but I guess the rules are can't engage these units, but obviously line of sight gives them away, so there is Club Levy back here, so again, just more lights. Um, maybe they just didn't have many, any heavies, or maybe they just, uh, they're just all hidden. I like this guy looks fairly heavy, though. Like, he's... I like that guy there with his uh, funny shaped shield. He might just be the officer. For the gods. Oh yeah, look at that. Archers on that cliff. I did say they would be there. And they're set up in a weird formation. But they're in range and they're shooting. Do not worry. And they got more club levy and more bloodsworn waiting. I don't know why the bloodsworn up here. Maybe to throw jabbies first? Um... And another, yeah, it's that like club level, it's rallied. I would have thought we'd see some more, like, nasty units coming up. Maybe, like, wolf warriors. Um, or, I don't know, more, like, a spear wall. Like, there's some spear units. I'm surprised we haven't seen that many of those yet. I know, like, wooden has spears or something like that. They have got pretty good spears, uh, Swaby. So they might be being left in reserve. But the cav fight just about over now. Being dealt with as we speak. Yeah, the archers, they are... I, I don't know what they're aiming for. I, Rome has no missiles as well. I've just realized Rome has no missiles. Makes sense, I guess, just to, like, make it a little bit fairer. Oh, General here is getting focused down, and that will be him dead. That will be the Roman general dead. If he's not dead, he's about a rout. Um, does it say casualties sustained? Does it say anything about General dead just yet? Or, like, recently died? But, I mean, this Roman army is almost dead anyway. This is all they have left. And they're going in test judo. That famous tortoise formation of the Romans trying to protect themselves from missiles. And in they go. That should protect them a little bit from those archers on the cliff. Have their uh, comrades followed suit? They have. Didn't realize the Republican units could do it. Didn't think they knew how to do test judo at that point. But maybe they did. But yeah, more club wave going in. And I mean, taking on the test judo, that's a pretty... I mean, it's a uh, yeah, limited speed, protection against missiles. I don't think it gives you any... I think it would have probably would give you some melee debuffs because it's not an exactly a, an actual, like, formation to use while in combat. But yeah, they're routing a lot of these infantry units here. I presume the general, yeah, dying has... Dying or routed has uh, broken their spirit to fight. And those Romans are cowards and will be executed for their cowardice. The Club Levy, you know, 32 kills on Romans. That's pretty good. Pretty good for them. Oh, more Javi's going in. They're probably doing even more damage to these poor legionaries. Slicing them, dicing them, boys. And there you go. They've routed. And now comes the second army, I guess. They're going to go up. But there's still plenty of healthy legion cohorts. And I'd say... I mean, what are they? Let's have a look at the... Uh, can we alter the map? Oh, yeah, we can. There we go. That's sort of... The angle we had it. I'd say they, they started like back here. They're about halfway. Uh, 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 so they've only lost one army at this point. So that's pretty good rate. Like they should be uh, going by that sort of stat. Like one army lost by about halfway. 
That's pretty good, but I don't know if Swaby's coming in the whole army itself yet. It's hard to tell. They're all hiding in the forest. But uh, yeah, this is a bad sign. And obviously, oh yeah, Wooden has spears here as general. So um, yeah, I have. I thought we might have to see sword masters, but we have not. We are over here. Here you go. Here's a sword master. This is the best sword unit available to the Swaby. And it is a heavy melee infantry unit. This could cause some problems for the Romans. Seems like the Histadi are getting beaten here. This is a good spot to kill them. I thought this might be where they try and stop them. There's choke point here, and you can shoot into the flanks with your longbow hunters and get a lot of good kills down here. And Rome, yet yeah, is going to struggle to get through these uh, these choke points. If Swaby wanted to, they could keep flooding in the troops into this choke point and probably hold them here. As long as they kept supplying uh, their infantry with, like, missile support, they, yeah, they could hold the Romans here, potentially. And the Romans are probably going to have to send some troops up, like some cavs, to go and take these uh, longbows out on the cliffs. They've got healthy auxiliaries that could do that. Yeah, the Romans not looking healthy. I don't know if there was huge cliffs that due to both forests, but if there was, I'm sure they helped, in reality, to uh, take these... Uh, damn Romans out. These damn Roman invaders, they just want more land. More land to conquer, to govern, to tax. Fight away, men. Your emperor demands it. We cannot lose a single eagle. Funny enough, actually, I don't think any of these Roman units are... Oh, there you go. There's an eagle cohort. I was literally about to say, I haven't seen an eagle cohort, but there is one here. I can't see the eagle standard, which is actually a unique model. Though he might already have fallen. A little concern in there. I would have thought they might have had all had an eagle cohort. Or they do. There's another one over here. I just have been blind and not realised. So yeah, they have all had eagle cohorts to represent their uh, to represent their legions, I guess, or each legion. But that's another eagle cohort that's broken. And I presume the first army had one as well that's been sent in. I just presume they might have been Histadi because they they have the same emblem. Because eagle cohort for some reason is just heavy, while legionary cohort is very heavy. It doesn't really make sense. They would have been the same unit. If anything, they should be super heavy because um, the eagle cohort is always the best troops. And it's a bigger unit as well. Uh, and in fact, in this, uh, the Eagle Cohort's 160. Oh no, that's the same size. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's a bigger unit. It's like double the size. And it's the best troops. Because obviously you want to protect your Eagle. It's the most important standard in your Legion. There you go. The Swordmasters are retreating. And now we're going to see Club... Oh no, uh, Blood Swarm go back in. Okay. That general's had enough of fighting legionaries. He was losing, so it makes sense. It makes sense to run away and hide in the forest again. Blood Swarm there, confident, casually sustained. Yeah, they're going to run away again like cowards. I don't know if these vigilates are going to be getting any help. I will be interested. I don't know if these guys are just going to, like, um, if the Roman army's over there just... Well, actually, if these Roman armies will die, they might just chain around from army losses. Or the players might just concede. So I wonder if those Vigilates might honestly just not do anything. They might not get attacked or anything. We'll see, though. I'll keep an eye on them. I'm worried about those boys. Yeah, the arrows coming in. I, like, flank and fire in vanilla Rome 2 is pretty damn devastating. I mean, it's pretty devastating in DI as well, which is the other main sort of, like, version of Rome 2 I show off. Oh, this is a pretty good back volley into those uh, Legion Corps as well. This is a healthy unit going in as well. 152 men. 152 brave Roman citizens. They're going to take on some uh, Wadnaz Spears there. I wonder if the Germans have much left. Well, it's bounce power so they do. But if they're throwing in generals, they can't have much left on... At least not much close to the front lines that isn't their generals. Be 
You know what? If there's any faction that can still win this with that balance power, it's Rome. It's Rome for sure. Uh, that general did survive, actually. The legacy got four out of 40 men left. Uh, the other legacy is also looking... Well, this one's looking a bit banged up. This one's healthy. I still don't know why they haven't gone up onto that cliff. Maybe they weren't allowed to. Maybe they just have to endure the longbow hunters shelling them with arrows. It certainly feels like the, the, uh, the volleys are becoming less and less. I also don't think this Wadna's spear is, um, is... I think it's in shield screen, yeah. And it just seems like it's edging forward, and I think it's going to die. It certainly doesn't seem like it's doing a good job. It's now retreating, and it'll lose some men. But what that spears, once they're in shield wall, my gosh, they could base morale 70. Look at that, melee defense 69. These guys are hard to kill. Romans have got around the side. Romans have flanked. It's a tiny unit. Swaby is quickly on it, and he's trying to put out the spire. Rome really needs to set up a second unit. Take advantage of this, this Eagle Cohort or uh, the other legionary. Just send them in. You can take advantage. Try and force these uh, Swaby back. And are starting to waver again. Club Levy finally are losing to these legionaries. It's been a miracle that they haven't been for so long. I mean, they've been cycling, I guess, as well, which is one of the best things to do with uh, Club Levy. Get that charge bonus of 16 into play, which is not a great charge bonus, but it is better than the Eagle Cohort and other units. Oh, there you go. Cav has been mobilized and it's getting into those archers and they're going to get their revenge now. I mean, 247 kills and counting. This Cav is going ham in this game. Auxiliary Cav MVPs. They really, they should not be on the same team. Actually, the Auxiliary Cav should be murdering the Romans, as they were Germans themselves. And that is a surrounded general. That is a dead Wadna spear. Uh, you can't have a shield screen on both sides, chaps. You are going to die. And yeah, like most units that rely on like a solid shield wall or something like that, as soon as you get behind it, flank it, it dies. Yeah, it got to like 104 melee defense there when it was in shield screen. It's insane. Here you go. Swaby R over here now. And this is that sword master we saw earlier and some other just random Swaby troops. I'm guessing Rome wins if it if it gets over here. If units get over here, they win. And Swaby has to concede, I'm guessing. Um, but I, I yeah, I don't really know the ins and outs of the rules. I'm sure I get told. But that's what I am presuming right now. Rome is sitting back, so we're just going to fast forward, see if they, they do anything. But yes, uh, is your prediction going correctly? Is Rome winning? Uh, uh, like, is Rome going to win, do you think? They look like they're doing okay. Or did you root for the Swabian thing? Nah. Swabian done too much damage. There's no way they're breaking through his Rome. Let me know what you think. I'll be interested to see. What's, uh, what happens? I think, uh, I think Rome might, Rome might have it. They haven't got far to go now. I mean, look at that map. As you can see, I mean, this isn't going to be the only unit left, Swordmasters, but there is not far now. They're definitely two-thirds of the way there. Like, one final long straight. But here we go. More units start to appear. That's a club level. Oh, it's that club level we saw earlier. I think they're going to get the uh, the shout to move up. Hopefully they have more archers. Archers seem like they're doing the most damage to Rome right now. Um, I don't know if they could general snipe the uh, Swaby players. It seems like they could because they shot this one to pieces. Um, but yeah, they should try and kill generals because uh, generals will break morale. And that's probably easier than killing the Romans. Here we go. Swaby goes in once again. Oh, and there you go. Legacy is rear charging. That might be costly there. This, uh, this Swordmaster instantly losing. Club Levy are not looking good. Oh, yeah. There is plenty of Swaby troops left. We have plenty up here. Club Levy, Germanic Youths, um, Spear Levy. What have we got over here? Club Levy. <laughs> Just Blood Swarm. You know, a lot of levies if you hadn't worked it out. Uh, Blood Swarm, Germanic Youths. Yeah, nothing too scary yet. 
Uh, cool over yeah, no like berserkers or anything like that. It's clearly just like uh, gonna be a lot of trash. The probe's gonna try and break through. But these Romans are bloody up. Look at this. And this is gonna be a lot of their own blood and a lot of German blood. But yeah, these guys have seen hell, been through hell. They're all like all the infantry units have got like way over 100 kills. Like auxiliary cap 300 kills. My gosh. Here we go. Rome's gonna go in now. Start hacking and slashing, boys. The Cavs coming in as well. A legacy rear charge zone men, I'm pretty sure, there. There you go, they are starting to waver. That's not a good sign. Those Roman, those front Roman units go, going in and wavering. General's been committed here. It's the healthy one as well. He did just get a very good charge into the club levy. It's the only other time I think in like vanilla Rome 2 I see Cav do well and is satisfying is charging light infantry. They are just pretty brutal. Oh, this is a nice little plan here by the Germans. They've actually managed to get club levy and stuff like that in behind. They're going to surround the Romans here, and I think that's actually going to cause the chain route. Romans not looking happy. Lack of units. Just seeing what remains in front of them, and I think generals also starting to drop. The break. Legatus is all here, fighting on. You cannot let the eagles fall. You must fall on your sword before you are captured and sacrificed to the gods. These German savages. Or fall on your sword out of shame of losing that eagle. There you go, Legion Co. is running for its life. Vigilay's over there as well, just sitting patiently waiting. But there you go, uh, mass route starting to take place here for the Romans. Even though they have two fresh units over there, I thought I would have helped with morale. But there you go, yeah, Legion's breaking 128 men. Oof, and there you go, the Vigilay's also just going to chain route. So I think we've had our answer on what was going to happen to them and who is going to win this battle. And then it's going to be a Swaby victory and it was a costly enemy victory for the uh for the swaby so we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results this one was sent in by cyrus also known as magi of fire he was playing as uh, one of the roman armies got on uh, most kills 1200 kills so very nicely done um so yeah i think it was uh bubini's uh, scenario so thank you very much um uh, for letting me use it or for letting cyrus send it in as well i'll make sure to link uh bubini's uh like channel as well so you can you can go and check out his stuff. He does a lot of Rome 2 uh, content as well. Um, but yeah, we'll quickly have a Cyrus's kills here. Uh, he's got 206 kills with his uh, Legion cohort. 154, 188 with another one. 207 with Hastati. His Cav, yeah, 258, uh, 259. Then we have Bubini playing as uh, Rome here. I think his unit's the last going in. Plus he had the Vigiles here. He didn't actually have a lot in the way of troops yet. Oh, he had all the Eagle cohort. I see. So he represented all three Legions. Um, he had... Uh, 192 kills here with one and then 165. His general got 203. And we have Kalex playing with the uh, the Rome army. 347 kills that auxiliary went ham. And then, yeah, 185 with the legions there is pretty good. And we have Bobi playing as Swaby, one of the Swaby armies. Uh, 95 kills with Warden as general. 188 with the longbows. I'm sure these guys did the best. Blood Sworn, 187 and 102 with the club levies. Not too bad. Then we have. Um, Isaac here playing as uh, the Swaby. He had a basically untouched army. I think he was the last remaining army. He had 102 kills with his club levy. And apart from that, nothing else did that much. Then we have Mo here playing as the final Sw uh, Swaby army. 152 kills with the Swordmasters. 146 with the uh, Bloodsworn. And then 115 with another one here. So yeah, did okay. That is for sure. So well done to everyone that took part in this one. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.